we're in and ready to go. It looks like a vehicle out of the Jetsons crossed with the Flintstones. It's very comfortable. I, I uh, tell people it's like riding in your lawn chair. Running smoothly like a mini electric car fueled by pedal power. I pedal most of the time. The motor is uh, really helpful for getting you started in, through intersections or from a dead stop and up hills. It's a recumbent tricycle in a fiberglass frame with a battery. It's actually a, a 48 volt battery, very large battery. Gordon Miller commutes in the only Velomobile in Iowa from Urbandale to the state capitol. 21 miles round trip. Variety of reactions. I get people honking, get a lot of thumbs up. It can travel up to 30 miles per hour if he pedals fast. When you use the electric motor by itself, anybody can climb in and make it go. Anyone? And then your throttle's here. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid down for you. You use joysticks to steer and handbrakes to stop. Miller says he's saving hundreds of dollars a month in gasoline costs since it only costs about three cents a day to operate. Plus, it's really good exercise. I've lost about 10 pounds since I started using it. Miller had his Sunrider shipped over from Holland and loves it so much he's now working with the Dutch company Error Rider, who makes them, to try to produce Velomobiles here in the U.S. It would be a perfect fit with Iowa. Uh, we're in the center of the United States. We could produce them. We could employ people. We could ship them out. Uh, and they're just remarkable vehicles, I think. With lights for nights, turn signals, and a trunk in front, Miller hopes more Americans will travel in these human-powered green machines down the road. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI News Channel 8, Iowa's News Leader.